Here's our 2015 Montebello, which is a classic Bordeaux blend of Cab, Merlot, Petit Verdot, and Franc. All four grapes are in this year's blend. This comes from a year where the yields in the vineyard were below average. Uh, we're in the middle of a drought, a five-year drought. Uh, the vines were really under pressure, really slowly losing their yields. And, and then combined on top of that was then late spring rain that hit during bloom. So here we didn't have a lot of cluster formations on the vines. And then during uh, set, they were getting hit by rain. So that really knocked the yields down. And as a result, the, the amount of wine we made was pretty limited. But the great thing about this vintage is the quality. Uh, really one of the finest vintages I've seen in my time here at Ridge. Really beautiful, intense flavors and aromas developed in the berries. All summer uh, we had just really nice, fine, mild weather, no heat spikes, and, and really the vines were able to cruise through towards harvest with just developing great, intense flavor. So it's really reminiscent of a, a, a very similar vintage would be 1996 where we had low yields and then just this really nice, warm, dry summer. Uh, very similar situation in 2015. Really produced a really powerful Montebello. I mean, immediately you can recognize the Montebello character, the perfume, the cassis fruit, violets, and, and some really fantastic aroma. Mm. And then the tannins are just so perfectly integrated into that dark fruit. Acidity is there as always, really keeping the flavors fresh and focused. It, it's really, it's a, a Montebello that can be actually enjoyed young. I mean, that's the surprising thing is here, we have worked very hard in the vineyard and in winemaking and making wines that can really age forever, but we also don't believe that wines have to be tough and tannic in order to have aging potential. It's all about the quality of the tannins. And, and in this case here, we have very fine, what I would describe as velvety tannins that are really surrounded by that nice, dark, saturated fruit, which is gonna make it very drinkable now, but it's also just gonna get better with time in the bottle. I estimate on this, this vintage here, you know, it's gonna drink well and fully develop over the next 30 years. Um, and we have really that track record with Montebello having been made all these years. It is really one of the, the most ageable wines made in North America. Mm. And, and really a superb vintage of Montebello. It's gonna be extremely delicious if you have the patience to wait the 10 to 15 years for it to really begin to develop some of those secondary aged flavors. Right now it's full primary fruit, but it has really great potential.